I haven't seen very many Asian autistic blogs. That's why I write my own stories and my own books, because I want people to be able to relate to some of the experiences that I've been through. My name is Kira Farnan. I'm 26 years old and I live in North Vancouver. I identify as a person with autism. I'm very blunt. I'm honest. I'm always on time and I'm a good friend. I've learned to be blunt and honest because of the amount of times people have rejected me. It's made me realize that I don't want to do the same thing to other people. So I think that's why I'm blunt. It can be strength because it lets the other person down easy, but there was a time when I went rock climbing with someone in North Van and then it lasted like barely 20 minutes and then they just said, oh, I'm going to drive me home. Like, and, it, and met up with someone from an app and it was just like 30 minutes. And then he was saying that he wanted to get together that weekend and just hang out and go for coffee or whatnot. And then he like avoided me for the next two days. And then I said to him, it's not cool. I think you should just be honest. And then he texted me like two o'clock in the morning. And he's just like, yeah, I don't think we it's going to work out. I definitely feel like I've been let on before and like given false hope, but I try not to take things too personally, especially when they're with people from apps like that. You know, you, you can't really trust people. Ships. I try not to force myself on people. I think that romantic relationships are something you have to let develop naturally, whether it's with an autistic guy or a non-autistic guy. I don't try and force myself on people. And I'm kind of learning just to take um, conversation really casually on dates and not dive into heavy emotional stuff or go over experiences that I've been through. That kind of thing tends to scare people off. And people have given me their number and then I've texted them and said, hey, so-and-so, do you want to hang out? And then they tell me that they just want to be friends. And then I just say, thank you for letting me know. And I used to confront people, but then I realized that it's not a good idea because I probably have to see them in the future. So. Instead of confronting them, I just say, thank you for letting me know and I hope to see you in the future. I, I just don't think stuff like that's fair, but at the end of the day, people are gonna make the decisions they're gonna make. I just have to be okay with it if they don't wanna date me or they don't wanna be friends. I try not to be rude or be selfish, but I think the longer you leave someone on for, the more you're being selfish. Forming friendships has definitely been tough for me because I say, have said the wrong things or accidentally overwhelmed people through text messaging or calling. And I don't mean to do that, but it's confusing when people say, oh, you can call or text me whatever you want when they don't really mean it. But I think I prefer if people were a little bit more upfront and honest and just, they just said, oh, we can call and text x number of times a week i don't think that they should open the door to a whole bunch of text messages because granted an autistic person is going to actually think that they mean oh i can text her anytime i still don't think there's enough um, autistic women voices being reflected on i haven't seen very many asian autistic blogs i haven't found very many resources that have helped me cope in life that's why i write my own stories and my own books because i want people to be able to relate to some of the experiences that i've been through